Hello everybody, it's Money Mom. It's Wednesday. I usually show you a little cooking recipe, so I'm going to get started. Before I get started, I wanted to mention one of my goals is to learn some editing or have an editing program on my computer because on Wednesdays, it's great that I'm showing you about something, but if I don't show you the finished product, I'm leaving an important ingredient out, and I apologize for that because many times I just show you what it looks like to prepare it, but you're not seeing what it looks like afterwards. So what I'm going to show you today is marvelous mini meatloafs, mashed potatoes, and what I do to make good mashed potatoes. They're already mashed, but not mashed, but they're already cooked. I'm going to show you what I add to them. And then, I haven't tasted them yet, I made something healthy, and I got the recipe from Mind Over Munch a wonderful website and what it is is it's brownies and I can't tell you all the ingredients offhand I can, I'll link it below so you can look it up but it has black beans in it instead of flour and it uses stevia so it's supposed to be a lot healthier recipe it doesn't have refined sugar in it and it doesn't have flour so we'll see how they taste they smell like regular brownies but I'm gonna let you see me taste it on camera and give you my real opinion now, let's get started on the meatloaf. I was told by Rochelle, one of my viewers, hi Rochelle, she says you, she gets on me about eating healthy. So because of her, I bought ground turkey instead of ground beef. What it calls for, and I'm not going to use all of this, is it says use some stuffing mix, okay? And you mix that in with your turkey. Then you take some Italian seasoning. I've already measured it out. It says a teaspoon. Sometimes I put a little bit more. And it calls for water. Well, I'm not sure how much water I'm going to need. I'm not going to use all of this stuffing mix. I'm just going to use a little bit. And you mix it up like this. And it calls for, like I said, it calls for water. I don't ever remember adding water to any of my stuff like this. It may be because of the stuffing mix. So I'm going to add a little bit of water to this. Sometimes I don't always measure things out, guys. I just kind of experiment a little bit. Sometimes that gets me in trouble. Sometimes it works out fine. And so I'm just going to mix some of this. Now some of you eat gluten-free or you don't want to eat refined carbs. So you might use something else. You might use coconut flour and season it with Italian seasoning or almond flour. Or find another way to bind the meat. It does not call for egg, which sometimes these do. So what I'm supposed to do next is I'm supposed to scoop out one of these, like some of this meat, and I'm supposed to put it in a mini pie or a little uh, muffin tin. So I'm going to take this, because it's easy, and scoop it in there. Then what I'm supposed to do is flatten it out like this and put a little spaghetti sauce on top like that, okay? And then put a little bit more uh, over top like this. And I can flatten it out with a spoon if I want or however. Then on top of that, I'm supposed to sprinkle a little bit of any kind of cheese you want. The one wonderful thing about cooking, guys, is you can make it your own. You can experiment, change things up. How many times have you all changed up recipes? So that's how I'm going to do this. I'm not going to let you watch me do all of these. So I just kind of gave you an idea. You could use ground beef, ground turkey, any kind of ground beef. You could use some type of mix to flavor it up. You could use breadcrumbs, anything. I mean, you could pretty much make any kind of mini loaf that you want. Some Italian, these are Italian. You could also do barbecue sauce and do something with that. I've made uh, that before with some barbecue sauce. That would be good. You could uh, do a uh, Mexican style and put like enchilada sauce and some chopped up um, chilies and jalapenos. That would be really good. So there's lots of different things that you can do to change these little things up. They kind of call these little protein balls, as you would say, little protein things. How, if I were to do a really re great, like re healthy recipe, I probably wouldn't use the bread, and I might use some type of almond flour and things like that instead, or find a different way to bind it together. So I'll let you know how these taste tomorrow. Now, what I'm going to show you real quickly is how I do mashed potatoes. I'm going to tell you my secret to mashed potatoes. What I do, these are already cooked up. Obviously, I like real butter in there, okay? But I'm going to tell you my real secret that everybody loves my mashed potatoes. And I also put 
minced up garlic, which I already minced this up ahead of time. Actually, to be totally honest with you, I bought it pre-minced. I'm not going to lie to you. You can probably tell by looking. Then I take some real cream and heavy whipping cream or half and half, and I add that. That is really what I think gives it the best flavor rather than skim milk, is I do that. And so that is really what makes it taste good. And I just do it to taste. I don't know how much I really need in there. And so that's kind of what I do. I know I had my masher out. Nope, there it is. And now I'm going to see how it tastes. Um, I'd love to know how you guys make your mashed potatoes. I sometimes also add in sour cream. That really gives a good flavor is sour cream. I love anything that gives food flavor. I don't like bland food. So this is just kind of what we're having for dinner tonight. We've got lots of leftovers in the refrigerator this week. We've got lots of yummy things that I've made. Tomorrow, I'm, I've been following a lot of recipes from the Mind Over, Went, Mind Over Munch website. Tomorrow I'm making um, another recipe called Tuna Boats that I think sounds good. But this week, I've uh, made, Caroline made my daughter chicken stew, and I made some salsa chicken. Um, so those are some of the things that we're having this week. I'd love to know what you guys are having. By the way, I wanted to, uh, I'm going to finish mixing this up off camera. Now, what you all have been waiting for, I'm going to try the healthy brownie. I have not tried it. I'm going to show you what it looks like first. These are the ones with black beans. I think it looks like regular brownies, I, and it smells like regular brownies. I'm going to taste it and see, does it taste like a regular brownie and what I think of it and if I think it tastes decadent, do I like it? Well, at least it's soft, I will tell you that. Okay, it doesn't hold together very well, even though I did use the right ingredients. Um, so it kind of crumbles, I will tell you that. Let me taste this. Um, uh, oh dear. Uh, I know these are supposed to be really good. I'm not just making this up, guys. I really don't want to throw these away. But let me tell you part of the issue. Okay, they call for black beans. I do have a blender, but Dummy Me decided to use a hand mixer. So I'm tasting chunks of black beans in this brownie. And it doesn't feel, it doesn't taste like real sugar. It's super sweet. Anyway, I'm going to try another little taste to give it another little chance. It's not the worst thing I've tasted. But let me just say this. Alicia over at Mind Over Much might make really yummy things. This is not something that I would make again. And I don't like the taste of the sweetener at Stevia. I know that we're all trying to eat a uh, you know, low sugar type diet, but I just, I can, it does not taste like a regular brownie, guys. I'm just being honest with you. If somebody were to serve me this, first of all, I picked it up and it crumbles in your hand. I'm going to cut one of these so you can actually see it. This was an experiment for my channel. This is what it looks like. Well, I guess the second piece isn't as bad. Now, I don't know if you think this looks decadent. If someone were to hand me this, I don't know what I would think. It does not look decadent. I don't know. Do you think it looks decadent, Al? I don't know. Um, let me see what yeah, Al thinks. That, really? Okay, let me try another bite. Um, I don't know if anybody in the household is going to eat it. They I suppose might it's a matter of opinion. Some people might think it does. Well, if you've uh, not had you sugar know. for like a few years, this might taste really delicious. But it wouldn't be something I would make again. So I just wanted to share that. I don't know if I, I don't know who else I could do a shout out to. My mind is kind of blank. My question to you is if I have not done a shout out to your channel and you want me to, please let me know because I do not want to forget anyone or have anyone to have hurt feelings because I love everybody. That's number one. Number two, my next thing I'm going to tape is random facts about me. Things that you might find interesting. But I'm not going to post it tonight. I'll post it tomorrow morning. I want to say thank you guys for being patient since I don't have the editing skills to edit these things. That you still keep coming back. I don't have a fancy channel. 
but you all come back and you're so positive and so supportive and I really thank you enough. So I'll let you know how these meatloaf turn this meatloaf minis turn out. I think they'll turn out good. They look good already. The brownies, you can go try it if you want. I'll link the recipe below. But I'm not a fan of the stevia, I think is what it is. Let me know if there's another kind of kind of quote sugar substitute that you guys use instead of stevia that you like better. I definitely want to know that. Anyway, stay tuned for tomorrow morning. I'm going to post the random facts about me, some things you didn't know. And then tomorrow night, I'm going to talk about an interesting topic that I'd love other budget video videos people to do. And the video is going to be on what we've learned about money from our parents. I thought it would be very interesting. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I love you very much, and I appreciate your support. Bye-bye.